If you're not using AI in 2024, you're really missing out. It can save you time, it can save you money, and it can create better results than what's already out there. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a book cover using AI. Are you tired of paying other people to make book covers for you? Well, thanks to AI, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own book covers in just five steps. So first of all, you're gonna to need to know what type of cover you're gonna create. If you've got your own book, that's straightforward enough. You're gonna know what the content is, you're gonna know information about your protagonist or what type of book cover you need to create. But if you're looking to sell book covers like I'm doing on Etsy, you need to find out what's selling. So in order to do that, if we come to Etsy, we can use the Everbee tool that sits here on the left-hand side. On here, you've got a keyword research tool. So if we click on that, we can start looking for book covers. So using the Everbee keyword research tool, I've just gone through and had a little look at some book cover ideas. The ones that I've kind of been looking for are ones around genres and niches, because I wanna create a book cover idea that I'm gonna sell on Etsy. So you'll see the complete process from this niche research through to using AI to generate images, through to creating it on Photoshop and then uploading it on Etsy. So we've got one here, which is fantasy book cover. It's got an estimated 187 searches per month on Etsy, but it does have quite a lot of competition with almost 6,000 competitors. But that's the one that we're gonna use for now. So we're gonna create a fantasy book cover. And if we have a quick look on Etsy, we can see what comes up as our competitors. So looking here on Etsy for fantasy book cover, you can see some of the results. Some of these are actually mine from Craig's Creative Shop, but we're gonna have a look at something that looks really nice and create something similar. So let's say we wanted something like this one, an Amazon woman warrior with a weapon in a cool background in a fantasy sort of environment. That's what we're gonna create for this book cover. Now we know what we wanna create, all we need to do is go over to Mid Journey and create our AI hero image that we're gonna use as the base for the book cover. If you've not used Mid Journey before, it's a text to image Discord server. How it works is you give a text prompt and then off of the back of that, you'll get an image. I've written a book on getting started with Mid Journey. If you wanna check that out, you can find the link in the description below, but for now, let's get going. All you need to do is click slash imagine and then you need to put in your prompt. Let's start with something pretty generic, trying to get something like we saw on Etsy. What I wanna do here is have something similar, but also better. So this might take a few tries, and I can try some different prompts to see what comes out. But to start with, I've got book cover, Amazon warrior holding flaming sword. Let's see what comes out. So we're not yet using version six of Mid Journey, and you'll see why in a moment. On version six, you can't vary by region, and that's really useful for when you're doing book cover design like this and using book cover as a prompt. The reason for that is that like on these examples here, they, are, they often come with placeholder text. And with the older version of Mid Journey, I think this is 5.2, which is the standard for now, you can select vary by region and select the text and then you'll get the text removed in mid-journey. That kind of saves you a job of cleaning it up in Photoshop. But these ones here look quite nice. The main thing I'm looking for here is enough space on the top and bottom for a nice title and author name, as well as a lovely hero image. If you're not quite getting the results that you're looking for, you can also do a dash dash style raw at the end. And what that tends to do is take some of the creativity away from Mid Journey and try and direct them more to your text prompt. So if you're trying to get something really specific, I would use dash dash style raw at the end of your prompt. What you can do is say if you've got a result here but you want to show the whole sword, you can zoom out as well. I'd often recommend zooming out to give you a bit of a bigger canvas to play with anyway because you might need to move the image around for the titles. So making your hero image on Mid Journey, it can take a little while to get exactly what you're looking for. This might take sort of 10 to 15 minutes of just trial and error, finding the right prompts that work, and then making some variations, varying the region to remove any imperfections, and then at the end, when you're happy with your image, you just need to upscale it so it's a good enough quality for using on your book cover. 
So as mentioned, that took me about 10 to 15 minutes. But I've got two hero images here that I'm happy with to use as a base for my book cover. They're both really nice, they both offer a different variation to the same idea. So let's take them into Photoshop and see which works the best. So for this one, we're just gonna create an ebook cover. If you want to create a paperback, you just need to make sure you know the page length so you can create the spine and the back cover to the right specifications. But for now, I'm just gonna show you how to create a ebook cover. This is because they're all the same size, which is 1600 by 2560 pixels. So all you need to do is go into Photoshop or you can use something like Canva and enter 1600 by 2560. Seeing as we're creating an ebook cover, which is a digital format, we want to select RGB. If you're creating a paperback, you'll want CMYK because that's the right color mode for print. But for ebook, it's RGB. So if we look at the specs of these images from Mid Journey, you can see the dimensions are 896 by 1344. That means they're not quite high res enough for a really good crisp ebook cover. So you can upscale those directly in Mid Journey, but I use a website called Big JPG, and you can just upscale them by four times. I use Big JPG because I've been using it for like a year now. I've got a yearly subscription to it for a few dollars, and it's a bit quicker than Mid Journey. So whilst those upscale, I'm going to go to creativefabrica.com and have a look for a nice new font. So we want a fantasy font. So that's basically what we're gonna search for. And straight away, I've got some nice ones here that I like. I like this monster of fantasy, and I like this rock mosh. Let's go for the monster of fantasy. So with this, because I'm a paid member, you can sign up as well if you want. Uh, the link is in the description below. But all you do is click download, and you can use this font on your products. So I've just installed that font and our uh, upscaled images are ready as well. So now all you need to do is drag your images into Photoshop and place them roughly how you think they would best appear. Kind of something like that. Now, what you tend to want to do is have an author name and a title on there. For those, we're just gonna do placeholders for now, but we're gonna use our new font that we just downloaded. And we're gonna see what it looks like with an author name at the top and the title at the bottom. So obviously the placement, the style of text, you can do lots of nice treatments to this text as well, you know, use loads of effects. But for now, all we're gonna do is just add a little drop shadow just to allow it to stand out. So all we need to do now is either export them as a JPEG or PNG. And the two book covers should appear on screen now. Now, these ones were made in literally about 15 to 20 minutes. So within that time, I've made two book covers with AI. Now, if I was making these to sell on Amazon, I'd spend a bit more time crafting them, spend a little bit more time with the fonts, make sure there's some sort of treatment on the text, help them kind of pop out. I might also adjust a few things manually in Photoshop as well, just as like retouching elements, maybe making like that blue sword pop out a little bit more, for example. But for a base, these are really, really nice covers. And if you're buying covers, but you're computer savvy and you own something like Photoshop, consider trying to make some yourself. Not only is it quite fun to do, but it's really cool to bring your own idea to life. Okay, so that's how to create a book cover using AI. The other tools we use for this is Everbee, which is a niche research tool for Etsy. That's more for if you wanna create book covers and sell them on Etsy. That's a really good tool to use. And the other one was Creative Fabrica, which is great for things like fonts and additional illustration and images. So whatever type of books you wanna create, whether it's coloring books, whether it's fantasy books, whether it's fiction, non-fiction, you can utilize AI to create that hero image or images and create a book cover from it in a few simple steps. Hopefully this video is useful and it's opened you up to using AI for book cover design. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, check out the rest of the channel and I'll see you in the next one.